Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see. Me. Shannon getting this sensitive over comedians cracking jokes about him in the workplace. Uh, work is truly sad. Context is everything. Okay, start Chris. I get it. Moved on. <laughs> I mean, that, that's that, what they hey, That's what they want to do. Fine, have at it. I'm done. But like I said, I gave my sister my word. Yeah. I'm moving on. But she told me something. Like I said, I told my sister today. I sent her, I sent her something that she's she. she Picked up the phone immediately. Yeah. She said, Shannon, what did Grady always tell us? Mm -hmm. She said, boy, I lie, I die. Yeah. She said, Shannon, at some point in time, you're going to have to learn you can't fight the devil every day because mm. you'll fight a never-ending war. Mm. Pick and choose the battles you want to fight. This ain't one you should want to fight. Mm -hmm. People going to let them say whatever. You know who you are. Right. You know what you are. What they're doing now is that they found out that Shannon is the hot thing. They're using the same joke. But at some point in time, it's going to get old and people going to get tired of y'all saying that Shannon gay and Shannon this. And you're going to have to get back to telling jokes. Mm. Now, uh, please tell me you're not running out of jokes. As Colonel Jessup said, please tell me you ain't pinned these two Marines on phone calls and toothbrushes. Please tell me. Please tell me you're not going to use Shannon as your punchline for the next three, four, five years. You're going to have to start telling jokes. Please tell me you got jokes. Yeah. Wow. So when you look at it, man, okay, I'm, I'm definitely, I, I wanted to weigh in on this because Man, Eddie Griffin, I'm a big fan of Eddie Griffin, man. Shout out to Hook, the comedian. Them guys been on my show. Um, I'm one of the guys that really tackled the uh, comedian world first. And uh, I think I was first, like like Soldier Boy said. when I And I tapped into it a few years back. I don't even know. Club Shay Shay wasn't even a thing when this happened. And it was Phase on Love. And I had asked him a question in Country Wayne. Uh, he ended up, uh, you know, saying something that I didn't even expect. But the one thing I can say is when you dive into this comedian world, you can expect some things to get a little different. You are, you're walking into their world, Shannon. So when you walk into their world, you can't expect them not to say things about you when you're talking to them. So at the end of the day, I'm just speaking out to say, you know, I see what I, I, I hear what you saying but I also see what's happening. You put yourself in the comedian world. I did it accidentally. I talked to Country Wayne. I talked to Faison Love. Faison Love is a big partner of mine, man. We are, we're kind of the same age bracket. So, and then I talked to Country Wayne because I love Country Wayne from the jump. 
I still cut for both of these guys. I still talk to both of these guys. I still show love to both of these guys. And like I said, that spirit, a whole thing, me and Bubba Dub, me and uh, Chinez Myra, all of us, even Alex, the comedian, all of the older ones, Squancho, I deal with everybody when it comes to the comedian world but I still love all of them the same. We all brothers. So we can talk, laugh, and have a good time without being offended or getting our emotions involved. So that's the thing that I see. When you step into their world, Shannon, I can promise you, you're gonna have to deal with the way the jokes come back at you. Some people not gonna come on your show. I take it from me. And you you guys, y'all have, you know, you guys been in the celebrity world. I'm just a guy that got it out the mud. And I'm just a regular family uh, or any guy that does a show with my wife. But at the end of the day, I have a lot of people that work with me. Shout out to Reality TV. And Reality TV going to speak on this in a minute because she called in right at the time when I was starting this recording. But I can say that I, li I like Shannon Sharp's show, Club Shay Shay. But it's going to be some back and forth, some ins and outs, and some people going to say this or that. And Shannon, you can be ready for that. Eddie Griffin, my boy, like I know how raw he go. I go to show... Every time Eddie come to town, I'm at his show. Every time. Every time Faison come to town, I'm at his show. I missed Country Wayne last one, but when he come to town, I asked him, hey, man, uh, can I come by to your show? Uh, I talked to all of these guys when it come down to it. Um, these uh, Carlos Miller. Some of them are, are internet uh, phenoms, but at the end of the day, uh, all of them are I cut for all of them. They my people. I'm not going to ever stop rocking with them when it come down to the whole realm. We all black, man. So I'm not offended. I respect them. They know I'm a family man. They know I get, I'm going to say whatever I say. I'm old country boy, just like you, Shannon. So at the end of the day, I think a lot of times the conversation comes up. Now, now a lot of these gay jokes and a lot of stuff they're saying about this is stuff that I've seen floating on the internet where I believe it was you and I guess your dresser or whoever. So they are gonna use that. Anything is usable. Anyone can be a victim when it comes down to comedian. Uh, let me see what reality TV got to say about this. Reality TV, what's up? What you doing? Um, just finished shopping. Oh, okay. This is my co-host reality TV as well. She. She she know what I go through when it comes down to interviewing all these guests, man. What do you think about what do you think about uh, what Shannon said versus what Eddie Griffin did on stage? I, I love both of them, okay, but I just feel like to that level, it's just too much to handle. Like they said, nothing without getting offended, and comedians do stuff like that all the time. So I just I don't know. Well, I don't know. is it wrong for Eddie and them to go in on Shannon? After the Cat Williams interview, like what's going? Because Cat Williams and you know Cat Williams and uh, Eddie Griffin played on Norbit together. They friends for real. Right. I just feel like when you kind of, you know, being just even with us, you know, me being a co-host on the podcast, I feel like when we step into that world, be prepared for stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. Public figure is it, something else. We done had a lot of back and forth with a lot of people, not just comedians, but whoever, when you step in this podcast world, whether it's Club Shay Shay, whether it's 85 South, whether it's uh, Breakfast Club, anybody, anything, anything, you become anything a public world. figure at that point, right? Yes. So, and I think, I think you put yourself out there. Look at me. I'm, I'm dealing with, uh, my wife is on the show. I don't think nobody else has their, their wife and you know, the kids been on the cameras and stuff. I don't think that nobody else opens herself up like that, you know, but yeah. I get a lot of good feedback from people saying, you know, with, her, with us being married 20 years and being able to do the show like that, it really opens up a door to where people can't just say, you know, relationships don't work no more, you know? And it's always going to be a positive and a negative feedback. So it's how you take it. Man, but again, I'm a big Eddie fan. Uh, like I said, I, I done had a lot of comedians. I, I probably named some of them, Jordan Jackson, Mike Bless, like all of these comedians come through Boss Talk. Uh, I think Pierre is, a, Pierre is another one. Who would you say? Chico Bean. Chico Bean, been through there. Like, but like I said, and I get the jokes. They joke with me. We talk back and forth. Uh, sometimes, you know, 
I do be want certain guys to come on that don't even come on because of some of the stuff that's done happened in the show before on the show before. Um, that's just a part of this, man. So I don't think it's. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think Shannon say his sister told him don't say nothing else about it or whatever. But I don't think it's. I don't think it's that serious. Yeah, I wouldn't take it personal. It's just a comedian. That's, we used to do that in school. Hey, called Jones, huh? Right. That's, so I wouldn't take it personal. I just roll with it. And get the views and collect the dollars. <laughs> Already, because all of it making money. Shannon Sh- Sh- Sharp, I don't think that thing probably had 55 million with Cat Williams. 56 million. He might be the, the number one spot in interviewing right now, but you're going to have to, with, with, with all this uh, success, come a lot of different riffraff and backlash. Wow, man. Well, hey, man, like I said, I can't say enough about them guys, but shout out to all them comedians. Everybody getting your money, keep getting your money. Shout out to definitely Country Wayne and Faison. Them my, like I said, them my guys. That's that's my real friend. But I love them dudes, man. And, oh, but but I love doing it because at the end of the day, it is a world that need to be bridged. Whether it's internet comedian versus the, you know, versus the old traditional comedians like Eddie Griffin, like Faison, like them the them the ones, man. That's the historians, man. They, you know. All of them making money. All these jokers rich. Yeah. yeah. They all rich, so it's all love, huh? But man, hey man, all I say is man, guys, get in the comments. Let me and reality TV know. Like right now. Right now. Like like if if you agree with Shannon, is Eddie wrong for speaking on Shannon's name? Uh wh- who do you who who are you siding with on this one, man? Let us know, man. Like, subscribe, become Make members. Sure y'all get that membership. Make sure y'all get that membership, man. Thank you so much, Reality TV, man. Appreciate you. Yeah. Hey, guys. Check it, man. Is in the building. Just did a review on Shannon Sharp and Eddie Griffin. Let us know what you think, man. Boss Talk 101, what a boss's talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see me.